I got in touch with two new companies, Remet Knives and New Knives, and we're gonna unbox a couple of them. Let's look at the one that came from Remet because, well, I wasn't sure what it was until I accidentally opened the package. So let me get this out of the way. And let's pull this out and take a look at it. Now I figured this is gonna be one of my three minute videos and I did cut my thumb today. So Remet um, and I talked and they said they were gonna send me a knife. We're gonna take a quick look at it. Jared recommended that I check this company out. So let's, go. oh, oh, oh. Stuff flying all over the place. So wipey rag, unbranded. Sorry about that. Um, looks like a little two size Torx bit. We'll save that in case we need it, but I do have Torx bits. And then the knife itself. Um, looks like it's pretty oily. Um, yeah, let's see here. So Remet Knives is a company I hadn't heard of until Jared talked about it. That's not a bad shape. Pretty comfortable in hand. Nice shape to it. Liner lock. Flipper. Pretty nondescript. Kind of kind of plain. How's the edge on it? Now, I don't know what steel this is in. I don't know anything about this knife. They simply reached out to me. Oh, well, I reached out to them. They said, yes, they would send me the item. I got the item. So, does run on thumb studs. That is really comfortable, though. Um, nice narrow blade done with what looks like a black PVD. We will probably take this apart, clean it up, and do a full video review of this first day in pockets, but no blade play, no play this way, fairly sharp, I don't know, we'll see, um, I think these are, these are fairly budget, I'll put a link to them if you want to check them out yourself, um, but these were fairly budget, I think this was like 30, 38 or 39 dollars i'll put a link to it down below so let's get this out of the way and take a look at the next knife but not before you hear from this video's sponsor i love being able to say guys that. i have made it abundantly clear that i live my life purely fueled on caffeine and inappropriate thoughts so it only makes sense that i would partner with a company like coffee brand coffee coffee brand coffee is providing you coffee that is roasted to order delivered to your door with no politics we get enough politics in our day-to-day -day life we don't need it in our entertainment or in our breakfast beverages. So go check out description down below. There is a link to Coffee Brand Coffee. Save 5%. You can also use my coupon code Crazy Sharp when you order. It directly supports the channel. Big shout out. Thanks to Coffee Brand Coffee for sponsoring this video. So let's crack into this one. Guys, don't forget Coffee Brand Coffee, I didn't mention it, also has tea and cocoa. Over 3,500 five-star reviews last time I looked. Let's crack into this one. I believe that this is from New Knives. Um, I talked with them. They were willing to send an item. Let's see here. Um, new Knives Cam Com Compander Folding Knife. Made in China. Okay. So that answers part of that question. Uh, I was curious. Now, they are an American-based company, but making stuff offshore. That's kind of commonplace these days. Let's see here. New Knives Instructions. Welcome to New Knife Family. Um, we'll take a look at that. Does it come with a wipey cloth? It does not come with a wipey cloth, but I like the pouch. Let's go ahead and crack into the knife. So, thumb stud and... Oh, wow, that is... I got a sore thumb. That was hurting my thumb. Um, nice blade shape on this. You're looking at thumb stud or front flipper. Really early lockup on that. We'll have to take a look. I don't know how I feel about that. That might be something we take a look at. Thumb studs on it are just nice domed thumb studs. Top flipper. Pretty good top flipper. I don't know. That is really, really early lockup. Let's see. Does it lock up any further? Well, I don't know, guys. We'll have to take a look at that and see. It might not be as early as it seems because there is a chamfer on there, but we will see. But G10 on this, nice shaped handles. Kind of... Civivi Elementum-esque, if you would. Really deep carry pocket clip. Super deep carry pocket clip past the end. This is one of those ones that sits under the scale and it is reversible and it's got a, it's got its own little face there. It's a nice profile on that blade and it is comfortable in hand. D2 steel, it's ground fairly well. 
feels like a feels like possibly a hollow grind on that we don't i'm not sure does it feel like a yeah it feels kind of hollowed um it's a good looking knife um but we'll see how that pans out over time we'll see how throughout carry and everything maybe we will take this part and see if maybe there's a little burr on that that i need to knock off to let over but if you look that chamfer that is actually over further than it looks let's see if you can see how much actual face on that we're touching yeah it's a little bit further over so we shall see on that guys there you go just a quick unboxing a couple new knives from a couple new companies don't forget to check out today's sponsor i'm not gonna do anything big no parting thoughts check out all the people that support the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video guys just real quick on the little step in i did put a little bit of black magic marker on that and you can see that there is a lot more lockup on that than there appears. About half of that is all lockup. So that's pretty broad on that. And you can see that when you look in there, there's a good bit. And it is because that's chamfered over. So there's about the width of the chamfer, chamfer in lockup. So not as concerned as I was at first blush, just a little bit. Now you guys can see all the names of the people that support the channel.